Shifting to the domestic flexible environment, I caught up with Sai Jacobs from 361 Asset Management and has asked him what they're doing compared to their competitors, or what they are doing differently. I think for us it's been a little bit, uh, a little bit different because uh, we've been very exposed to equities in the flexible sector for some time. But given what's happening in Europe and given what's happening in China and a possible slowdown, we're generally beginning to lighten our, our focus to equities and rather take some of our funds offshore, purchasing offshore corporate bonds, uh, high yielding corporate bonds, as well as a few offshore equities. And how, locally... How are you responding to the local, to the recent news flow, obviously that Greece could exit the Eurozone? I think for us it's about being defensive and it's about being in sectors that are defensive, uh, non-commodity sectors, non-cyclical sectors, increasing our weighting to the likes of private healthcare, uh, to the likes of high cash yielding opportunities, companies with great balance sheets, low gearing, and again, as I said, a lot of offshore opportunities on lower ratings than South African. Do you think there'll be better offshore opportunities if we see further calamity unfolding from the Eurozone? I think there will be, because I think we've seen quite a disparate uh, rating between South African equities and offshore equities. And I think over time, uh, we'll see a little bit of return to developed markets over emerging markets. And Sai, if we look at Greece exiting the Eurozone, domestically, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think that local equity markets are going to sell off in tandem with the global environment? I think domestically, it's already almost discounted that longer term, Greece can't belong to the Eurozone. There's just no way for Greece to adjust. So I don't see any major hiccup in the SA market. Didn't you, don't you think, though, that we thought that Greece was done and dusted, that they mm. were going to go through with all the necessary transactions to keep themselves in the Eurozone? I think the truth is if they continually go through those transactions, then there's continually fun funding required from the ECB. And I think over time, that's only going to put further strain on the world. So I think to convert Greece back to a, an, a, it's another currency or a few other European countries back to another currency, would be beneficial to the euro and the world over well, time. Let's narrow down the opportunities in equities as you see it. What sectors are you particularly focusing on at the moment? I think for us the sectors would be we in probably a little bit long healthcare. We really don't enjoy the construction sector given the, the backlog of the government spending and the, the hiccups through the system. Uh, we're also in some retail but cash retail over credit retail. We also like media and IT businesses. So you're um, quite well diversified across the equity environment in South Africa. Is there anything that you're excluding? We definitely exclude construction and uh, anything related to construction, just given our uncertainty around government and the spend so and its ability to deliver. So you don't think that the bad news is all priced into construction? No, we don't. Sai, if you were to choose the hottest sector out of the ones that you've mentioned, what would that be? It would be uh, internet and media. And I think the, the reason is just the amount of spend going, going towards the global internet, their unbelievable presence in Africa, in pay TV in South Africa, and uh, the ability of management to really understand how the world is transforming uh, from an IT perspective.